Wow, this is my second signal. And that sounded trashy. <laughs> I wonder if that's a bottle cap. Look at that. Silver ring. Dope. <laughs> Just trying to go back in the hole. Well, I should say I'm assuming that's silver. It really looks like silver to me, though. Let's see if I can... Okay, so I was like, that's got to be silver. I can't find a mark, but look, it's right on this little edge right there. But what a weird one, an adjustable silver ring. I don't know if I've ever found one like that. It's broke right there. All right, cool. We're already in the, in the silver. That's why I love doing these beach edges. Let's see what else we can get. Well, here's my options. Walk back to the last hole where I got the silver ring because I left my shovel there <laughs> or dig it out by hand. I think I just saw it. Yeah, sorry about that stupid cord. All right, was well, a dime. It's ringing kind of high, but man, there it is. <laughs> All right. Well, now that I'm reunited with my shovel, we'll see if we can get a gold ring or something. So, man, that was just a just the quietest little tick. And I dug down. I got this weedy. Yeah, it's an old one. I think it says 1918. So, you know, I'm digging in Montana. So for here, you know, that's a fairly old coin. I mean, we get into the 1800s once in a while, but, you know, you get a early 1900s coin, 1903, 1906 or something. You're kind of at the beginning of when people really started coming here. So that's an old one. Okay, so this is where I'm digging. Let's see. Can you see that hole over there? Right there. That's where I got that last weedy. Walked just a few feet away. Got another one. Let me just tell you. I have been digging with the AT Pro and the AT Max. I don't know, eight, ten years, whatever it's been. And I have detected over this spot a bunch of times. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a date on that one, but that is a, a, <laughs> a crusty weedy. But I got to say, man, especially here on this lake bottom, you get a lot of falsing with the AT Pro and the AT Max. And I think you just miss a lot of targets. You know, the quieter your machine is, the better you're gonna do, so. I don't know. I mean, the verdict's still out, but I'm thinking my AT Max and my AT Pro are just gonna be wall hangers from now on. I hate to admit that because, to be honest, I'm really good with those machines. Like, I got so many hours on it. I'd be embarrassed to say. In fact, I kind of thought of that. They should do these things like tractors. Like, like how many hours has it been on? And that'd be kind of fun to have as a stat later on. <laughs> I got 10,000 hours on my machine. Anyways, let's see what else we can get. Okay, I got a solid 11. 11, 12. My favorite game. Is it a gold ring? Or is it a nickel? <laughs> Unfortunately, I lost. It's a beaver tail. Yeah, I got an 11 12 here. This is most likely 
one of those little beaver trails. But could be a gold ring. You know what? That's actually some kind of fancy there. Maybe the top to a spoon or something? I don't know. Alright, I just got another wheat. This one looks like it got shot by a gun or a bullet. See that big weird bend on there? I can't get a date. It says, oh wait. Now 1938, I think. All right, let's keep going. Okay, it's pretty much dark. I'm headed back to the truck. Just hitting a few signals. Oh, it looks like I got me another weedy. Three weedies on the day. Yeah, I can't make anything out on there though. I don't think I'll get a date or anything. Okay, we've been just crushing the clad, which I haven't been filming. But here's a possible ringtone. Let's see what we got. Huh. It is a ring. Look at that. It's got rust on it, so. Looks like it's gonna be a blinger, but it's a ring. All right. Yeah, I just love these swimming areas. That's my favorite thing to do. See, I'm just following this shoreline as it drops. And just come every, you know, couple days and it'll be down a little bit lower and I just make another sweep. Get the jump on it before any other guys get down here. But, yeah. That's close to what we're looking for. Okay, just a few feet away from that last ring. Got another possible gold tone. Let's check it out. Yeah. Well, not that time. Just a piece of pull tab. Dakota. 13. Yeah, piece of trash. Rechecked my hole. It was actually a nickel. I don't know how I got that other piece of trash. All right, cleaning up some quarters. Yeah, looks like we got some more jewelry. Oh, what is that? I don't know. What is that thing? I mean, it's a junk. You can see the plating coming off, but I guess that's a I guess that's a ring. Boom, another one. Just a screaming 13. It's got to be a nickel or a gold ring. <laughs> or a huge piece, or a huge piece of trash. <laughs> oh. See, I got really desperate of you saying, maybe that is gold. Look at that. So this was just kind of a tick sound, just real faint. You can see how deep this hole is I got here in the rocks. But that's kind of cool, an old chain. Anyways, on to the next one. Kids got treasure. <laughs> wow, look at that. 
I didn't live dig it. I thought it was going to be a quarter. Stupid. Look at that. That is a sweet silver ring. Nice little black onyx or something. There you go. Can you see the 925 in there? I don't even need to look at that. I know that's silver. Boom. Swimming holes, man. I'm telling you. That's where it's at. Ah. Nothing nicer than a little silver on the beach. Woo. Just thought maybe I'd give you a little show on my dig holes. See them all the way up the beach? See, I'm just working this edge. All right, we better turn you on for this one. I got a pretty loud 13, 14. This is my favorite game in the world. What's it gonna be? Gold ring? Nickel? Full tab? <laughs> Full tab. But, fancy. Must be a Red Bull, right? I don't know. I don't drink that stuff. That's what it looks like to me. See how big this hole is? This sound started out crappy. And so far, I've pulled six pennies out of there. And now look, I got a 13 signal. That's in there deep. And, uh, whew, my hands are getting cold. So, do you walk away from a 13? I mean, I got six pennies out of here, so it's probably a nickel. Could be a pull tab. But there's also a chance it's a gold ring. So, what do you do? I'm telling you, man, it's deep. Like, I can hear it with my pointer, but... Man, I'm going to have to have my arm in there up to my elbow almost. <laughs> All right. Well, since we're out here to have fun, and it's the most fun <laughs> when you have frostbite, let's see if this is a gold ring. And of course, now I lost the signal. Okay, pulled it up so you guys can actually see. Oh, I think I moved it. That's why. Man, I suck at this. Floating around a lot, so I'm wondering if that's a full tab. Nope. Nickel. But you know what? Now I don't have to go home and think about that all night when I'm trying to sleep. Well, is that a gold ring I left there? Nope. Now I know. So this one's ringing up a little funny. 27, 28, 29. Let's get you on the video. There we go. This might be another silver ring. It's kind of uh, above a dime and below a quarter. Nope. 
Iron and dime. All right, this is probably a quarter, but last time I put that over the ring, so. Quarter. There's a loud 13, 14. Nickel. All right. I just got me a really old piece of jewelry. Look at that. I don't even know what it is. Some sort of clip. It's definitely got gold on it. I mean, it's copper, but gold plated. But that looks really old. It's a relic and jewelry. Look at that. That's awesome. Came up a solid 16. Look at that. More, more junk jewelry. <laughs> Bro, where's the gold? Come on. But, hey, when you're on jewelry, you're on jewelry. One of these times it'll be gold. We got silver. Now we need gold. More jewelry. Teamwork is key. It's got to be copper. <laughs> 